What's up 3D gang, I'm Bucko. Today we'll be taking a look at the new, well, my new, Centauri Carbon from the Chinese company Elegoo. In this video, I'll be going over a few points that really make this printer feel great to use. And also, why I decided to buy this printer in the first place. This is more along the lines of a new owner's perspective. Since I only picked this thing up yesterday, I've been stuck to it. No pun intended. I'm sorry. Now I must say right off, the build quality on this printer blew me away. The quality metals and the glass really make this printer look tidy, especially considering it's one of the more inexpensive 3D printers out there. In the Australia, it's 700 Australian dollars. I've heard it's 299 American dollars. Um, I don't know why it's more expensive in Australia, even though we're closer to China. But anyway, I was really happy with how easy it was to get set up initially. Just remove the packing, then there's three little hex screws to remove on the bed. Click a few setup buttons and you're already up and going, ready to get on with your first print. It took around 30 minutes to complete the initial setup. Unfortunately, I didn't record the actual unboxing of this printer as I didn't think I'd be making YouTube videos, but I guess I got that wrong. But without further ado, let's get into the main points of this printer. I was lucky enough to get a later version of this printer, as I've heard the first ones had a few minor problems, mainly with the sharp angle on the filament feed tube, causing filament to get sometimes get stuck and cause blockages, which isn't good, and I've heard also sometimes it would actually fry out the um, printhead because of how hot it would get with all the extra plastic around it. The lighting was also subpar on the earlier model I heard, but as you can see in this little montage, they really have listened to the community here and made the necessary changes. I really like when companies do this, it just shows they care about the end user here. I've noticed my filament detector seems a little more protruded and flexible from the body of the printer, which differs from the earlier models as apparently they had some issues there, with filament sometimes snapping due to the sharp angle. But they have seemed to fix this problem on this model. I think at this point in the production cycle, if you order one today, you should get these upgrades. But don't quote me on that, because there's still probably some old stock lying around, although they did all sell out, so hopefully we all get these newer ones, as the lighting, as you can see, is awesome. Now onto my big reason for getting this printer, it's damn fast. With up to 500 millimeters a second print speed and up to 20,000 millimeters a second acceleration, my old Ender 3 doesn't stand a chance next to it, both on quality and speed. As you can see, I'm printing a riser for the top glass. I've seen many reviewers recommending to do this. It just saves you having to remove the top glass every time you print low temperature filaments. I'll leave the link for this in the description if you've just picked up one of these printers for yourself and you want to print one. The print up to now is doing very well and it looks great. I can't wait to see it when it's all finished. I'm using eSun filament. I haven't seen too many reviews on this filament, but it works great for me. I've had no issues with adhesion or any layer lines or any issues. Plus living in Australia, we don't have many in-person stores for 3D printing. So unless I order online, I don't really have much selection in brand. Which brings me on to my next reason for buying this printer. The hot end reaches up to 320 degrees. So that just means I can experiment with more types of filament like ABS, PTU and other more difficult filaments to print. Plus it's enclosed, always a bonus to have that, especially with ABS and the difficult materials that rely on chamber temperature. I have a lot planned with all this filament, different filaments, so uh, bear with me guys. There'll be more videos out. Although the riser wasn't actually my official first print, my first print was a little benchy that was already pre-installed on the printer's hard drive when I got it. It has a few minor defects, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but I suspect vibration has a bit of a tail in that. And I don't really think this is the printer's fault, I think this is my table's fault. And finally, my last couple points for buying this printer, and that is the built-in camera, and hopefully very soon an AMS. The camera's quality is better than some more expensive printers I've seen on the market, and the feature that allows you to time-lapse is an awesome idea, especially since I'm doing YouTube, it really allows me to put some extra cool clips in here. And you can monitor it all from the app on your PC, it's really easy to use, and hopefully soon they release a phone app too, that would be quite nice. And finally, the elusive 
AMS. Now, I really do hope that they soon come through with an AMS because that's kind of the main reason I bought this printer because I'm really excited to be able to print in multicolors, even though I don't really think I'll probably do that much. I really want to try it and it's a really cool upgrade. I really hope they come through soon. Um, and that's pretty much it for this little review slash first impressions of this great printer up to now. Well, one day, no issues whatsoever. I've done a couple prints. Um, and everything's been sweet up to now. Um, I had one issue that was completely my fault. I didn't put the bed, magnetic bed, back in properly and um, it kind of printed a little off because it wasn't flat perfectly. But that's my fault, not the printer's fault. The printer is great. Um, I really recommend it to anyone uh, who wants to get it and they're really good price at the moment too so while you can get them I'll probably get one. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, appreciate the like button and uh, also hit the subscribe button too because we got zero subs and I've got a lot of plans for this channel and hopefully soon I'll get a better camera and not just my phone, even though it looks pretty good. Um, I'd rather have a nicer camera to do nice smooth shots with, but um, until then, I'll see you in the next one. Keep printing.